That's right, a bizarre situation in southern New Mexico. First, Yvette Harrell gave her victory speech. We found out there were several thousand absentee ballots waiting to be counted. Once they were, they showed her opponent, Social Tora Small, won the congressional seat. Now, Yvette Harrell is taking to national news, telling America she's not going to concede yet. Yvette Harrell's campaign has said time and time again that she will not speak with media until the election results are finalized. But she appeared on Fox News last night talking about the unusual outcome of the District 2 congressional race. And so we need to look into it, shine some light on it and make sure if there's problems, let's fix them. The Dona Ana County clerk told us in an interview last week they got about 8,000 absentee ballots. That's four times more than the amount of absentee ballots they received in the 2016 and 2014 races. We traditionally had less poll workers than we have had, and although we met our statutory requirement at each poll location, um, we did we we lost ten um, within the three days prior. They chose not to work, claiming they were too understaffed to handle the amount of ballots. I spoke to our political analyst Brian Sanderoff about the situation, and he says it's unusual. We expect the absentee ballots to be put into the mix the night of the election. In this case, in Doniana County, they were not. We didn't know till after midnight. And Yvette Harrell is telling Fox News it isn't fair. I really don't think that it is because we hear we have a second congressional district race where everybody goes to bed on Tuesday night thinking that I've been declared the winner. And then suddenly on Wednesday morning, they start hearing that there were 8,000 ballots that came up out of nowhere. So far, Harrell and Torres Small have given victory speeches. I reached out to Yvette Harrell's campaign several times today, but did not get a reply. Social Torres Small's campaign manager did reply in a statement saying Social was honored to receive a resounding majority of the votes cast, and she looks forward to working with all Southern New Mexicans to help improve our health care system, fix our broken immigration system, and grow our local economies. Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. None of the election results are finalized. In a public hearing November 27th, the state canvassing board, including Secretary Secretary of State Maggie Toulouse-Oliver, Governor Susana Martinez, and Supreme Court Justice Judith Nakamura will be certifying the results of each race.